guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very, very special one. I wait for this for the end of the year to rank all my eyeshadow palettes. Was it difficult? Absolutely, 100%. Because this was the year when I like cut short it and I put a number in my mind that I'm only gonna buy these many palettes. So these are very like concise amount of palettes. Concise saying I have 27 palettes to rank. So if you're ready to see, these are like the best of the best products that I like chose from the industry, like releases that was almost happening every day. So every out of the every eyeshadow palette released in 2022, these are the ones that I chose and I got and I want to rank them all. I want to make my life more terrible. <laughs> so if you are ready to see which palette ranks on like the top, top, top and which palette rank on the really bottom ones, then please keep on watching. Okay. On number 27, I don't want to mess this up, <laughs> but on number 27, I have Natasha Denona's mini gold palette. Yes, Natasha Denona palette on the bottom list, but there is a reason for it. Like I do not like these stones on my eyes at all. And these do not last on my eyes at all. So for that reason, I don't think it's worth even like $27. Uh, I actually got it for 50% off. So I got it for like $13 and I do not feel like this is even worth $13. You can take it with a grain of salt. I mean, if this is like your favorite palette, I am so happy for you. But this did not work out for me. I have so, so, so many more palettes in my collection that I love more than this. Now, I actually took this and the Mini Love palette to Disney. Mini Love worked out pretty well. Whenever I was wearing this, by the time I entered like my Airbnb, after the end of the day, I couldn't see anything, anything on my eyes. And for that reason, I'm gonna rank this on the bottom list so this would go on number 27. On number 26 I have Wicked Widow Beauty's the Alternative Palette. Now this uh, there are a few things that I really like about this palette. The artwork is stunning. The packaging is a little obnoxious in my opinion just because like the way to store I feel like there's a lot of like wasted space. This comes off and it has a mirror which is good. I feel like you know it this palette if this was like a rectangle, I feel like it would have been more practical with the same kind of artwork. I would have loved it. I love the mats. Shimmers, the only shimmer that I like is this one. Rest, all of these are like glitter shadows, which I am not a big fan of. And this satin shade, I was not a big fan of, but the mattes blended out really, really well. I loved the look that I came out with when I used this. So that's why I'm writing this on number 26. But did you see the latest palette that they have come out with? The Scissor Hands 2 palette. I'm drooling over it. I'm drooling, drooling over it. They are actually sending that palette uh, over to me. I've not received it as yet, but as soon as I get it, or if I get it, I'm definitely going to review it for you guys because that palette's color story, it has no glitters, it has duo chromes, multi chromes, and the mattes are look absolutely stunning. So I'm very, very excited about this. But the alternative palette has to land on number 26. On number 25, I have Colourpop's Ticket to Dreamland palette. Now this palette, it's not bad by any means. I'm not a big fan of these like sequence shadows like the mattes with shimmer in it i'm not a big fan of it but individually if you see this palette on the eyes like i actually revamped this palette i mixed and matched my single shadows with this and i used it so much more but as a whole only by when i look at this palette it doesn't like excite me and for that reason i'm marking this on like number 25 but individually the shadows perform really really well this last row, I mean, they could have put all mattes and I would have loved it definitely a little bit more than what I like right now. And this also has a pressed glitter format, which I'm not a big fan of. So that's why on number 25. On number 24, I have AB8 Subculture Palette. Yes, this landed in my collection this year. One of my friends gifted this to me when she found it in like the TJ Maxx section. So she gifted it to me. I was telling her I like the color story. I would love to try it. And when she found it, she got it for me. I like the color story. I still love the color story. I love these shimmers, the Adorn shade, Electric shade. They are like the most unique and beautiful shimmers in my collection. I love the mattes. I love Anastasia mattes. Even though if this palette is not powdery as people were like complaining. So I really like this color story. But can it be improved? Yes, for sure. Is this completely my color story? Not really because I don't like these like greens and teals and this mustardy tones on me. But I use a, I've used quite a bit of this palette. 
and for that reason i'm gonna mark this on number 24. i have a lot more palettes that are exciting than this that's why it has to land where it is <laughs> On number 23, we have Gourmand Girl's Cestel Amour palette. This was the first collaboration with Doodles by The Money on Instagram. This palette is stunning. Stunning quality, but it's very, I would like to say, two-dimensional. You either would get like more of a pinky look or like a red tone bronzy look. So that's the only reason why am I ranking this, but the quality is stunning. I have created some gorgeous looks using this palette. I love when I created like this bronzy uh, tone by just using these three shades. It was stunning. Uh, I also loved like the pinky look that I did and this duochrome shade is stunning. This multi-chrome is lovely. I love these shades. I absolutely love these shades. But again, you're very limited to the number of eye looks that you will create using this palette. So only for that reason, I'm going to rank it a little low. But man oh man i have some amazing palettes so i have to rank these palettes a little low but you'll see why now onwards every palette that i'm mentioning i really like like i absolutely love each and every palette that i'm going to mention from now onwards it's just a matter of how much i'm using it on uh, in my everyday life and the color story that's the only thing that like came into my mind and how exciting that palette is. So talking about that, on number 22, we have Melt Cosmetics Amore Mariposa palette. Loved this palette. Like for a jewel tone color story, this palette is amazing. The most used shades out of this palette, I would say, Okay, this palette is a little mixed match because I actually rearranged this palette just to make it interesting for me because I felt like this is the way how I would like my palette to be if this was... Um, so if it, your palette doesn't look like this, then that's the reason why. But I love this shade, this shade. I love the shimmer. I love this rusty tone shade. I love this for like my lid shade. Uh, I love charo. No, not charo. Um, I don't remember <laughs> but I love these browns and like these shades I really really love it purples are amazing when I put this palette in like this format I can easily look at this palette and I go I can go like quad wise like this quad can be a look 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 this can be a look this can be a look so i really really love that aspect that i can mix and match because this is a magnetic palette but the quality is absolutely outstanding do i reach this a lot in my collection not really uh, that's just because it's like deep 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 matte shades uh, i love a good deep matte shade but i also love my neutrals <laughs> so that's the reason why it's landing on number 22 but the quality is absolutely a plus plus and also i would have loved a little bit more shimmers that's a little bit more matte heavy but i don't i don't complain about melt mattes because melt mattes are absolutely stunning on number 21 we have ColourPop's that stoke palette yes this is also not a new palette by any means, but this is the palette that I picked up during my Black Friday sale. This palette is really, really good. I am not a big fan of grays, so only for that reason, I'm going to rank this a little low. But the tones, I really love when I use this and these like mattes and these like super shocks and shimmers. I really like it. I feel like this shade and this shade could have been avoided, at least for my skin tone. One, I could have done with one. I would have loved if there was like one more super shock shadow in this palette. But otherwise, the palette is really, really good. There's nothing to complain about it. I have problems with longevity uh, with this palette. I don't know, is it because it was like an old stock or something? But by the end of the day, I don't see these shadows like staying on my eyelids. And I have more of like an oily eyelid. So I generally do feel like creasing around my uh, eyes. I didn't even see creasing. It was like all gone. <laughs> so that's like the longevity problem. But if you're wearing this palette for like four to six hours, I think you'll be good. When I wear something, I go to office like, early in the morning so like i start wearing my makeup like seven in the morning and i come back by six uh, after picking up the kids and all so by the time nothing was there <laughs> okay now let's talk about the next palette the next on number 20 we have sugar drizzle hypernova palette this is the newest palette that they released this palette has some beautiful shades like absolutely stunning shades i have nothing to complain about this palette because i've done like five looks using this palette i think or three looks using this palette and i've created some stunning looks i absolutely love this palette nothing to complain about it in my everyday life i would use like these shades but like rest of the shades it's a little out there for me but again these are some beautiful duochrome shimmery shades it doesn't have those like special multi-chrome shades that sugar drizzle is already like known for and you will see like a few palettes from sugar drizzle later down in the video but 
this I feel like on number 20 is good enough. But this palette, the color story, the quality is absolutely stunning. So if you love the color story, I would highly recommend this. I have a code with a sugar drizzle too. It's Smithy Sony and you can uh, save 10 or 15% off. I have all my coupon codes in my description box below. So if you're interested in any of the palettes or you want, if you want to see like a review on a specific palette, just give it a search and it will definitely pop up on the screen. <laughs> on number 19, we have Hindash's Monochromance palette. The only complaint that I would have is that there is no shimmers i love this palette like i love hindash's palette i feel like it's a very foolproof palette it just smoothens out everything and i've told you a million times on this channel these are the palettes like hindash's palettes stay like right up in center on my desk just because i feel like if i have any like harsh edges or anything like that it just smoothens out everything by just like you put like some brush in any of the shades that you really want to use and just blend down the edges and just smoothens out did you see that did you see that it's so pretty and so smooth on the eyes like this is like my finishing step of my makeup routine so i have to rank it on number 19 because i use it a lot i'll use these for like blushes my bronzer my under eye setting powder i love this but i love the other one a little bit more than this so it's gonna land up a little higher in my ranking but this is gonna be on number 19. on number 18 we have gourmand girls radioactive palette now the only reason why this is landing on number 18 is just because this, there are a lot of like deep shimmers so every time that I do a look with the shimmer it ends out to be like a definitely like a smoky eye there are very few shimmers that are light in tone like this and these would be lighter in tone but rest everything either would be I'm not a big fan of like uh jetac greens but you see a lot of like stunning green but I see like that shade but on the eyes it's so dimensional so duochromy multichromy this quality is Stunning. My favorite shade is high energy. So my finger definitely just goes into there because it's just stunning. Like look at the, I'm not going to swatch everything guys, but the sh quality is stunning. I also have a code with Gourmand Girls. Again, it's all my codes like Smithy Sony to save like 10% or 15% off or 20% off. But you can use my code if you want to. But these are like the top notch brands from Indie Makeup that I really, really, really love. Do you like this necklace? I really, really love it. I actually got it from Walmart and I, I am loving it. How dainty it is. Yeah, I don't wear necklaces if you don't know, but I, I really like this one. This was like for $5 or something. Yeah, super cheap, but super elegant. <laughs> okay, on number 17, we have another sugar drizzle palette and this is the Max palette. And this is a purple palette. If you are big on purple, this palette is so stunning, guys. The mattes is absolutely lovely. I feel like I'm a big purple person. You can see, you can clearly see on my eyes. I'm a big, big, big purple person and I have loved this palette. I've again done like five looks using this palette in combination with another sugar drizzle palette, which I talk about but this palette is super super stunning i feel like this is lower on the scale just because of number of shades in the palette it's a very mid-tone heavy i would say um i feel like all these are like mid-tone ranges so if this palette was like a 12 pan palette with like teals and lavenders and purples and pinks and all included in that like concise 12 pan color story i think it would have been like really really high up there because the quality i really want sugar dessert to come out with like more mattes because this quality was absolutely stunning i'm a big 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 fan of them and i give them kudos and credit to first start off with like a purple matte palette purple being the most difficult shade to create and this was absolutely stunning so i would highly recommend this if you are a purple lover you'll absolutely love it on number 16 it's another sugar drizzle palette and this is the trick raw treat palette i love this baby i so much love this baby this is so pretty even though this is just like six shades but you can do so much with this palette you can absolutely do so much with this palette again i've done like three looks using this palette I've, this multi-chrome is absolutely gorgeous this is the most beautiful shade that i've ever seen it's stunning guys these shades are app can you see that these shades are just beautiful and stunning and shifty sugar drizzle just does it like no other like the way that shifts the red to that green 
it's so pretty all these shades are multi-chrome related and these mattes are so so beautiful and so smooth love this palette like if you like a smaller color story you are gonna love it and the and if these are your tones then nothing better than this like absolutely if you like grungy tones on your eyes this is the way to go and the it's so affordable too it's lovely and use my code on top of it it'll be more affordable okay let's move on on number 15 it's another brand that i tried the first time in this year and it is simply posh cosmetics and this is the genuine gems palette now this palette on the other hand i feel like it has too much shades and too much is going on but everything is so pretty so so pretty if you ask me what should i take away from this palette i can only say like this and this seems a little redundant on the eyes but otherwise everything is so pretty so gorgeous like i customize this palette so much too uh, with like my shade that I uh, made from like Pretty for Your Face, the Glacier shade. And I include that instead of this like green shade because I'm not a big green person. But still, this palette is nearly perfect. If you love jewel tones, this is the palette for you. You just need one palette and you'd be absolutely delighted with this. I love the quality of the mattes and the shimmers are so sparkly. It's thin shimmers but very sparkly and like very dimensional on the eyes. So I really, really love this palette. I cannot wait to see what they have for us in future. These tones, these, this is my favorite column. The purple one, I love it. <laughs> on number 14, we have It's Bell Cosmetics Cool Summer Palette. The shimmers in this palette took my breath away. Like the shimmers man oh man i cannot wait for summer and spring to arrive so that i can like again wear this palette but you can still wear these like deep blue i will still wear these deep blues in like winter season and these multi-chrome shades are breathtaking like just breathtaking i love 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 these tones absolutely love these tones it's so creamy and so beautiful oh my oh my look at that look at that it's spell just does shimmer so well. These indie brands, they're killing it. Like I have to swatch this. And they have different uh, varieties of shimmers too. There's some like which are more like toppery shades and some like which are opaque. But look at the dimension that this creates. Can you, are you kidding me? No, no, absolutely not. Like this is stunning, absolutely stunning. You cannot tell me otherwise. I love this palette. I really, really love this palette. The mattes are blendable, uh, but I feel like there could have been a little more pigmentation in these mattes. And I feel like these two greens are super close to each other, which they could have avoided and put another shade. Uh, that's the only complaint about this palette, but I love this. I still love this baby a lot. <laughs> On number 13, we have Gourmand Girls Ethereal Palette. If you are looking for like an all shimmer palette that gives dimension and shine and shimmer on the eyes, multi-chrome, duochrome palette, this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. The day that this arrived and I swatched, my jaw dropped like no other because these tones are so beautiful and you, they, you get so much of variety with this palette alone. If you want greens or blues or purples or pinks or yellows and oranges and bronzes and olives and pinks and you just can go on and on and on you just need like one shimmer on your eyelid and your eyes will pop like no other and if there are 12 shades you can create like 12 different eyeshadow looks using this palette and you can even like mix match some of these shades and create a new shade altogether. love this baby absolutely stunning quality i love the packaging that is like concise and it is small it's the right size of packaging and i love it absolutely love this one now my top 12 i cannot even tell you how much i love it like how much i love it i cannot tell you like these i cannot part from any of this any of this like you need to fight me to get away with these palettes because i love them equally so very much so very much okay let's begin because i am i'm doubting my choices i really am <laughs> on number 12 we have blend bunny cosmetics primal palette i tried blend bunny for the first time this year and man oh man are they stunning like are they stunning they're so gorgeous and so pretty i love love everything about this palette i am not a big colorful wearer as i've mentioned like 10,000 times on this video but if i need like one rainbow palette this is the way to go if i need one jewel tone rainbow palette this is the way to go i love this i don't have like a lot of like big 
palettes but you will see like two big palettes including this in this ranking video and that's saying a lot i have dipped into this palette over and over and over again i really love the quality of the mattes it just blends so beautifully and you can still see distinct colors on your eyes but they just blend so so nicely i cannot wait to try more from brand bunny because i love them i really really love them loved everything about it everything about it. i cannot rave more i have again done like five looks using this palette i link as much as i can in the i cards above in the description box below for you guys but these are stunning palettes on number 11 we have glam lights mikela palette now this is the palette that i tried this year early in the year i would say i loved it so much so much i cannot even like these tones all of a sudden when i saw this in like promo pictures i was like oh my god this is too colorful i'm not going to wear it but when you like break up this palette the first three rows i am so so confident in wearing those three rows because i love my pinky purples i love my neutral tones i love my bronzes and then you shift like one down and i'm like okay the only shade that's like out there i would say is like this minty green uh, and this like blue but otherwise i feel confident i like i feel like comfortable and then when you see the last row i'm like okay the only two shades that i feel like i'm like it's out there is these two shades but otherwise everything looks nice and when i started incorporating those like outside my comfort zone shades i was blown away my jaw was like dropping i it just took my breath away it's so pretty the shimmers are so dimensional the mattes are so beautiful love 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 this palette absolutely love this palette i cannot wait to do more looks with this i really want to focus on like less number of palettes even next year and want to use these palettes even more just because i know i have like the creme of the creme product with me so i should use this more i really really love this palette on number 10 Top ten. On number ten, we have Sugar Drizzle's Milf Palette. I love this baby like no other. Even though I'm not a green person, I love these greens. I love these purples. I love these blues. I love this palette so much. And this, the shift, the shine, the dimension that this palette gives, is just absolutely beautiful. And I cannot recommend this enough. Like if you see this in stock on Sugar Drizzle's website. I dare you to give it a try. I know that you love it because it's that pretty. Everything, every shade in this palette is beautiful and spectacular. As soon as you put this baby, like one of the shades in the eyes, your eyes pop like no other. Like I've given, I've gotten like so many compliments when I wear this palette on my eyes. I love it. I love, love, love this palette. My top ten. Oh my god, I can't what? <laughs> How is this landing on number nine? I don't know. It can be number one too. That's how much I love it. Okay, on number nine, I have Adept Cosmetics Minka palette. The only reason why I have ranked this on number nine is just because all of these shades are so sparkly and blinding that this is not like an everyday palette for me. I definitely, on an everyday basis, I can rock these multi chromes and these mattes. I also can rock this Emma shade, but. <laughs> But whenever I wear this palette, I feel so pretty and so glamorous. Like this is so spectacular, guys! Like if you need like one glam palette in your collection, which are more neutrals, this is the palette for you. You cannot go more glam than this. Like this is stunning, absolutely stunning. Like stunning is the word. I am so impressed by Adept Cosmetics. I cannot even tell you. This was the first palette that landed in my collection, and then I got one more, and that is yet to come. <laughs> So you know how much I love them. I really love them. <laughs> On number eight, we have Hindash's Beautopsy palette. Now this has landed up in the collection just because I use it like almost every day of my life. I have used this and so much for my entire face. The time when I'm not like ready to mess up with my makeup and I do not have like time to like go with like different kind of looks. This is the palette that is in front of me, and this is the palette that I use for my entire face. It's so blendable. It's like beginner friendly. I know these are expensive, but these are created with so much of love. It's stunning. You can set your under eyes. You can use a bronzer. You can use like blushes. You can do your eyes with it. Of course, you can do contouring. You can make it like an eyeliner. Uh, it's stunning. I love this more. This definitely more than the Monochromance palette because this is like so much more user friendly. I would say and so basic. But so essential in my everyday life. I love this one. So that has to land on number eight. On number seven, we have Melt Cosmetics Gemini Two Palette. <sighs> I love these mattes. Like I don't know why did I not try Melt Cosmetics before this year, 
and I am such a big fan. The only reason why this is landing on number seven is just because of these three shades. These three are like super dark and it just appears like muddy on my eyes. But I, you know, I love my rosy browns and I love these shades. Like absolutely love these shades. I've, I've used this like several times in my life and in the office. I love this palette so very much. And I'm glad that they only included two shimmers. Uh, because the mattes is where melt stands so much and I would love if melts shimmers would like be more like Gourmand Girls or like Adept Cosmetics shimmers. I feel like they'll do so 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 good. So good. I cannot wait to see what do they have in like future for us. I love 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 melt palettes. On number six we have the final Gourmand Girl palette and this is the Spook palette. This was in collaboration by Doodles by the Bunny and Gourmand Girls for the Halloween season. And this is their second collaboration and look at this palette. This palette is stunning in every which way. The only shade that I feel like it's outside my comfort zone is this, but I love that this uh, green is a shimmer. So I can incorporate with like these mattes and I can make it wearable and look stunning guys. You still can go like very, very wearable with these shades, these multi-chromes and this shade. And I love the addition of white and black so that you can like lighten up your looks as well as deepen up your looks if you want. This was a well thought out palette and this is like my favorite Gourmand Girls palette that I have in my collection. And I feel like in the whole line of Gourmand Girls palette, definitely my favorite palette. I have a lot of palettes from Gourmand Girls and I love, love this one without a doubt. Time for top five. On number five, we have Melt Cosmetics Gemini Palette, the original Gemini Palette. Now this has a lot of grains, but I love this palette. I have used so much of this neutral shades in so much of my life. I cannot even tell you. And I've always included like some kind of like a mustardy shade or a green shade in the eye look, but it still looks so pretty, so pretty. This is very, very, I mean, this is not underrated by any means because people love it. I felt like I would not like it because I don't like greens, but this, it's a number five. That should tell you that how much I love it. I really, really love these shades. Even the shimmers in this palette, it's, it sparkles and shines like it has like a scattered look on the eyes and I love it. I absolutely, I love it that way because it has like a scattered look and I love it that way. Really, really, really pretty palette and I cannot wait to use this more in like winter, fall season. Love it. <laughs> on number four. Oh my God. This race is my heartbeat because I love it so very much. On number four, we have Chocolate Martini palette from Glamlight. I love this entire series by Glamlight. I, I also have their Dirty Martini palette and that's the palette that I first tried out from Glamlight. When I checked out their formula, I had to go back and get this. So that's why this landed this year, but Dirty Martini landed like last year. I love that palette, even though I do not like greens. That's my favorite green palette that I have with me. And this is so stunning. I've used this so very much, so many times on my in my life. I love this. I love my pinky browns and this is like pinky browns with a twist. I love the addition of like purple and uh, orange also in this. You can go bronzy, rosy, like sparkly. I feel like this is more like an affordable version of the Huda Beauty Empowered palette. I really feel like this can give you the same kind of looks, but a little extra. Love this, love this baby. Really, really, really excellent palette that was curated by Glamlight. Cannot recommend this enough. Top three, time for top three. Are you ready for it? Are you ready for it? I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> if you know me, you know exactly what all palettes are missing and that I'm gonna mention. On number three, I'm gonna mention the Adept Cosmetics Heather Austin palette. The time that this has landed in my collection, I've loved this. I absolutely loved this palette. The variety that was chosen by Heather, these are like my tones. Like the only shade that I feel like is like out there for me is this yellowish green shade. But otherwise, everything is like my tone. I love this palette with my whole heart. I'm actually wearing this palette on the majority of the eyelid today. I'm actually wearing the lavender shade and the purple shade from the uh, Adepts Minka palette on my outer corners and on the crease. For the shimmers, I have so excited on the center of my eyelid. 
and then I used the shade Austin on top of another palette that I'm going to talk about and then for my inner corners I used the shade Passport and that's the eye look and this is stunning. Cannot recommend this enough and I cannot recommend Adept Cosmetics enough. Again, I have a code with them, Smithy Sony. You can save some money, but Adept is the way to go for indie eyeshadows. They are absolutely a gorgeous company from the packaging to the magnetic pans that are inside. It just feels luxe. I cannot wait to mix and match the shades of Minka and Heather Austin palette together because I definitely want that purple matte in this palette. I feel like it will just be magical, magical. <laughs> Okay, now because I'm more of a neutral person, those, my top two palettes are the most used palette in my collection. Now, if you can guess on number two, I have Patrick Ter Beauty's Rose Eyeshadow Palettes. Love my pinky browns and this is full of pinky browns and I cannot recommend this enough. This just makes me feel beautiful. The moment I put this on my eyes, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. I've actually, this shade, the goldeny pinky shade on my eyes on top of that i use the other shade from adept cosmetics palette and uh, this is stunning guys absolutely stunning the mattes blend beautifully the shimmers have like that scattered dimensional kind of a look which i love absolutely love for like my glamorous looks i just love a little sparkle and shine in my life and this this just gives it to me gives it to me on my number one if you can guess Guess it and put it down in the comment section below because I have used this palette so much, so much. I, I already have like made my money's worth, I would say. And this on number one is my Natasha Denona My Dream palette. I felt like I waited for the right palette from Natasha Denona. This is me in a palette. If I have to go for like neutral tones, this is me in a palette. I love each and every shade that was put in this palette. If I have to move one thing, I would just move this cream to powder formula or make it a little more darker because on the eyes, this and this looks very, very similar. In my last uh, video, when I'm doing my best of high end and indie makeup, I'm using this palette in that video and you can see the eye look turned so glamorous, uh, so glamorous. I use this in my everyday life, especially in office and even in like special occasion, it blends so beautifully so beautifully i cannot wait what she has for us in future but this color story was me in a palette and i cannot cannot be happy more happy with this palette like i love it i love that she included uh, multi-chrome i love that these mattes and shimmers are like more purple leaning and taupe leaning because i love i love these shades so very much i love babies i love everything about this palette and this is my perfect palette and my number one palette for 2022 do let me know in the comment section below what is your top three palettes that you tried in the year 2022 i am so curious to find what is your ranking but that's all for today guys i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you did like it you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys